All right, so let's get started on MP3. This is the last checkpoint of the spring 2021 MP. So MP3 builds on top of MP2. So before you start MP3, you really do need to have MP2 working. So I've got MP2 working, you know, I've got my test speeds right here. Everything's passing, I've pushed, I've got my points, I'm ready to go. Um, and the reason for this is because as soon as we add the MP3 test suites, we're gonna have the same problem that we had when we started MP2, which is that things aren't gonna work, and we're gonna to have to stub out just a few things in order to get started. Okay, so I've got you know my MP2 uh, done, it's working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the MP3 test suites uh, as you know uh, you copy these off the website. I'm copying them out of our um, out of our sort of testing directory. So now I've got my MP3 test suites, and if I open these up, uh, what you're gonna see is I'm gonna have some errors. Right, that I'm going to have to handle. And this is because, just like with MP2, the MP3 test suites have dependencies on your project. So there are things that we need to create. Um, what we're going to do this time is rather than you know uh, commenting stuff out, which is one approach but makes it a little bit tricky once you start to, to actually have to test stuff, what we'll do is we'll use this as an opportunity to get a sense of kind of like what you need to get to work in order to get started on MP3. And so we'll actually just get to the point where we can run the MP test suites and have them all fail. We won't get any points, we'll have a zero, which is fine. Um, but you know, we'll work on this together. Okay, so uh, one of the things that's cool about Android Studio is there's a, I can hit F2, and that'll actually take me through problems in the current file, okay? So there's a couple of problems here. The first one is that it's looking for this class called Rady. Um, and if I go up here and I look at the imports, let me close this for a minute, give us a little more room. Um, you can see that it's looking for a class rating in the models directory. And so this is another type of model. What we're doing in MP3 is we're adding the ability to our app to be able to rate courses. And so just like we did with the summary, just like we did with the course model, we're gonna create a model to hold information about the rating for each course, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna hit new uh, Java class, I'm gonna call this rating. I'll hit add because I want this to be included as part of my project. Then I go over here to MP test. So now you'll see that this is going to be okay, um, but I it's expecting this constant, right? So this is something that I need to add to my rating model, and this is a default rating that's used to indicate that the client hasn't rated a particular course yet. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to define this. Our ratings, well, I mean, you can actually define a rating scale that you want, uh, but our ratings are, I think, between zero and five. Um, and so uh, we want, what we want to do is we want to define a rating that indicates that the course is not rated and that should be outside of that range. So let's add that here. We're going to say uh, public static um, int, uh, I think it's actually a double, uh, not rated is equal to negative 1.0, okay? Um, and I need to make this final as well. Um, and now it's angry about something else. It's static, final. Um, Okay, these are check style errors. I'm just gonna ignore these for now. Uh, eventually we'll need to comment this, but now you can see that the test suite will be able to pick up this constant. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna move on. Um, now I've got these, uh, and you can see essentially, um, you know, in the past we had built methods on our server, on our client, throughout the app for dealing with different types of data. And what we're doing with this MP3 checkpoint is really we're introducing a new piece of data, which is these course ratings, and we're gonna have a lot of similar features. We're gonna have routes on our server that are gonna be devoted to dealing with ratings. We're gonna have functionality in our client that interacts with the server over the network to retrieve those ratings. Um, and we'll also have some UI functionality to view the ratings. Um, but, you know, uh, and so the, the test suites are gonna give us a little bit of a sense of kind of like, what, what do I need to do here and what's required? So there's a couple of things here first. So you'll see that our rating class needs a get ID method and a get rating method. The ID is going to return a string and the get rating is going to return uh, a double. Uh, for now, what we'll do is I'll say public uh, string get ID and I'll just return, I can just return null, uh, which is fine. And then I'll have public uh, double get rating and I'll return uh, like something, I'll, have a, I'll just return not rate, just a constant, okay? Um, and so now uh, I'll reformat this. Uh, this is going to be fine. It's angry about some Jack style stuff again, which is uh, which is fine. Um, 
okay? Uh, but these uh, errors down here are gonna go away because I just defined those two methods, okay? Um, let's keep looking, I can see, okay, and I'm going through here. Um, oh, right, okay, I need to, I need to create a, a, a new um, uh, rating, something with a, a rating, yes, I need to create uh, something in the rating view, so that's okay, uh, we'll get there. Um, all right, so, okay, so the next thing are these, um, are these uh, methods, right? So get rating and post rating. Um, and it looks like there's this new callback. So one of the cool things that we're doing in MP3 is we're actually gonna show you how to send data to the server. Uh, so we're not just retrieving data with this checkpoint, we're also going to take data from the client and send it to the server. In the past, the client has been purely pulling data from the server, but now the client is actually also going to be posting data to the server. Um, okay, so what does it look like I need here? It looks like I need a new callback called your rating, uh, and then it looks like I need new two new client methods called get rating and post rating. Uh, so let me open up my client here. Uh, where did it go? It's under network, right? There we go. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll add, so I'm gonna add a, a new um, callback here called your rating which takes a summary and it also takes uh, a rating. And for now, this is fine. Uh, I think there'll be an error here because of check style, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I go back to the test suite and I'll see that um, the uh, this this is okay. I'm gonna need a constructor for my rating, right? And and that I might just leave to you to do. I mean, this, just, just, just to point out, I mean, this rating is supposed to hold an ID and this double is the rating. So right now I've, you know, I don't want to give away the whole store here. This is actually not a particularly difficult piece of code to finish given what you already know. It's a class that stores two properties. Um, and like many other classes, it has a complete constructor um, that I'll do. But you know what, let's just go ahead and I'll, I'll just put this in here. Uh, why not? Okay, so we'll public rating and it looks like uh, it expects the string to come first. So uh, set ID and then double set rating. And for now, I'll just do nothing with these, um, with these, uh, with these values. Uh, but that will allow me to construct a rating. Okay. So now I've got these get rating and post rating methods that I need to to, to do in my client. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, we we gave you this method called get summary, and this is not a bad starting point for stubbing out. I'm gonna put these up here because I'm trying to not show too much of the solution code for MP2. Uh, um, all right, so I'm gonna take a, this is gonna be called get rating. What is the signature of this method? I'm gonna go look at the test suite to, to help me figure that out. Um, it takes a summary, a client ID, and then uh, something, uh, and, and some callbacks, okay? So it's pretty similar actually to what I did before. So I'm gonna say uh, summary, summary, the second field is going to be a string client ID, um, and then my callbacks, okay? So, so that seems to be okay. So I've got my get rating method, um, and then my post rating. Now the post rating has a slightly different signature. Post rating takes, let's uh, add this method, post rating. It takes a summary, it takes a rating object. So I'll say rating, rating, and then it also takes a callback to uh, inform when uh, the rating has been changed. Okay, so that's now working. Okay, so now the last thing I need to do here um, is one of the parts of the this assignment is actually to uh, modify the view. So this is now gonna be part of your course activity view is that you're going to not only, so previously your course activity showed the description for the course. Now what you're gonna do is underneath that, you're going to stick a rating uh, and you're gonna manipulate that rating bar appropriately to have it show the rating um, that, the, that the client has given and allow the client to, to manipulate that rating. So I will walk you through the process of, of doing this just quickly here. Uh, okay, so what we need to do is we need to modify the layout. So this is looking for something in that layout that has the ID rating. Okay, so let's go over to our resources. Nope, sorry. It's under here, res, layout, and this is something that I'm gonna change in my course activity, okay? 
So here's my course activity that I've created before. I have the title and the description. And if I look at the design view, you'll see that, you know, title and then, you know, there's a title and the description. These are two text fields. What I need to add to this is a rating bar. Um, and you could do this using the visual editor if you want. I'm just going to do it in the, in the code view because that's also going to work. Uh, so I'm going to do a rating bar. Um, I'll do wrap content. Uh, this is, uh, wait, sorry, the width I want to match parent. That'll make sure that it's as wide as the thing. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ID feature again. Um, and I'll say, and, and this is now going to allow my test suite to find this component as it's, as it's being tested. Um, there are other options to this. Let's look at what the design view looks like now. Check that out. Um, there are other options to this that you may need to um, figure out how to set in order to pass the test suites. But at this point, if I go back to my test suite, what I'm going to find is that this, uh, this a, a, a component with this ID now exists as part of the UI. And so the test suites can find it during testing and test it appropriately. Okay, so let's give this a go. Uh, I've got my test suites here um, and let, let's run them, right? So like I've done past, I'm gonna hit this button right here. I hit run MP3 test. Um, this adds this new run configuration up here at the top. Um, I wanna add that to my project permanently, which I'll do in just a second. Uh, once I make sure that the project will build and that the test suites will run. Um, and so again, I've had to do a little bit of work just to stub out some of the methods that I need. Now, one thing I want to point out is that there is work that you're going to have to do in server.java in order to complete this checkpoint. We'll talk about that in one of the walkthroughs uh, further down the page. Um, so this is not all the code that you need to write to complete this checkpoint by any means. Probably the most uh, complex method uh, to write we haven't had to stub out at all because that's part of the server. Um, and changes to the server, because of sort of how the architecture of the system works, changes to the server don't prevent the client from compiling, right? Or the, the test suite from compiling. So you'll see that my test suite is compiling and running just fine. All the tests are going to fail, but that's okay, right? So if I committed this and pushed it now, I would get a zero, um, but, but things would work. Okay, so it looks like everything's failing. Uh, that's okay. Let me go up here. I'm going to show you how to add this. I think I've promised to do this a few times and forgotten. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it so it looks a little bit more like the other ones, but that's up to you. You can call them whatever they want. And then over here, you hit store as project file. And what that does is it adds this run configuration to the project. What does that mean? It means that if you deleted this whole thing and cloned it again on another machine or on the same machine, that run configuration would come along with the project. And anything that you use often, you usually want to do that, right? It's usually a good idea to have that stick with the code so that other people can use the same uh, test suites or, or the same run configuration to run the same test suites. Okay, um, the other thing too is that we need to reconfigure our gray.yaml. So I'm gonna go to gray.yaml. Now I'm asking to grade checkpoint three. Let's go ahead and run the grader uh, because I want to confirm that the grader will actually run. And uh, what I'm expecting to get here is a big fat zero. Uh, but that's a good starting point, right? You know, so there's some check style errors that I introduced when I started the project. I mean, I didn't have any when I finished MP2, but because I've added a class and I haven't added documentation and stuff like that, I have some, some check style errors I need to, to fix. Um, this is going to, again, run the grader. Uh, some of the tests are now timing out, which means that I'm going to have to sit here for a few minutes talking awkwardly while they finish, which is fine. Um, but, you know, what I'm expecting here is a zero. But I also have the unaltered MP3 test suites. So, again, once you get to this point, you can push your project and it will not, uh, it, it will compile when we try to grade it on the server. It still doesn't get any points, but that's okay, right? Your job, of course, over the next few weeks is to work on this incrementally uh, one test suite at a time uh, until you get uh, the score on the MP that, that, that you know you earned. Um, okay, so let's see here. So I've got, uh, if I go to the grade, I'll see I got a zero, nothing passed, and there were check style problems, but this is a reasonable starting point. What I'll recommend, as I have in the past, is that you work, so I'm gonna close up this, I'm gonna commit all my work and, and push it just to make sure that it's all there. I'll do that in a sec. 
Um, but as usual, I would suggest that you, you work on these in order. Um, so you start with the unit tests and you start with, you know, test server get rating, um, and then you work your way down, right? So uh, then you try test server post rating, you know, work your way down. Um, you know, the next one, and now, now you get, so those are gonna test your server side logic. We'll talk about that next. Um, then you work on your client get rating and client post rating. Those are gonna test the code in your client. We'll talk a little bit about how to set that up in the next walkthrough. Um, and then finally, the last thing to do is to actually wire things to the UI so that the UI uses the client to retrieve ratings from the server and shows them to the user. And then also when the user manipulates the ratings in the UI, what's gonna happen is that's gonna trigger code run to run that then sends that new rating back to the server so that it's stored. Um, so that's the last part to do, right? So again, very similar to what we've done in the past. You start by getting the server to support this new piece of information. Then you work your way back to the client and you get the client side code, just the code part to work so that the client can get and retrieve ratings from the server. And then finally, you add it to the UI to allow the user to actually use it. All right, but we're off and running on MP3. Good luck.